Hey, this is Jack from GroovyPost.com. Today I'm going to show you how to use Google's new Google Places search feature. Now, actually, you're not going to have to do anything in order to see these new search results. Um, once it rolls out in your area, it's just going to look this way automatically. Um, what it does is it takes Google Places results and mixes them in with normal Google search results. Um, it actually makes more sense if you see it for yourself. So let's say we go to Google Maps and we want to look for pizza places in Pittsburgh. We just type in pizza in Pittsburgh. And all of a sudden we have all these places plotted on the map. And then there are Google Places listings on the left. As you can see, each pinpoint kind of corresponds to a place on the map. Now the big difference here is how these are incorporated into universal search results. For starters, you're not even going to have to type in pizza in Pittsburgh for a normal web search. You can just type in pizza and Google is going to automatically assume you're looking for local places. As you can see, it's kind of pegged our location as Pittsburgh PA automatically. Now as you can see, the Google Places results are interspersed with the normal web results. Number one, we have Ocelli Pizza, which is a local pizza chain, followed by Pizza Hut, which is a national chain. And then the rest of the results are below. Also, you get the same map as you would on Google Maps right here on the right. And if you click it, you get taken to the Google Maps version. Now, if you want to see only Google Places results instead of a mix, you can click Places on the left. And now you'll only have Google Places listings. Now, to see what it looks like if you don't have Google Places in your area yet, let's try it for kind of a vague, unpopulated area, let's say uh, South Dakota. Now you see nothing but national listings. These aren't specific to South Dakota, nor do they have Google Places results in them. Now let's go back and find somewhere that obviously does have Google Places search results, like New York and all of a sudden you're covered with Google Places results. So, how is this going to change the way you use Google? Uh, in actuality, it's probably not going to change the way you use Google. What it is going to change is the way Google decides which listings to put closest to the top and that's going to have a big impact on search marketers. They're going to be scrambling to get theirs optimized to be in those top Google Places listings. Hopefully the way they optimize it will work out for the better for us, but we'll just have to see. This has been Jack from GroovyPost.com and for more information on Groovy News and Google products, check out GroovyPost.com.